Ah, Stoicism. Sounds a bit stuffy, doesn't it? Like something best left to dusty old philosophers in togas. But trust me, there's more to it than meets the eye. At its core, Stoicism is about mastering your own inner world, about finding peace and resilience amidst life's inevitable storms. Think of it as ancient wisdom for modern living, and how do we tap into this ancient wisdom, you ask? Through the power of vibration, of course. Now, before you picture us chanting good vibes only with crystals dangling from our togas, let's be clear. We're talking about a deeper kind of vibration here. It's the energy you project, the thoughts you cultivate, the reactions you choose. It's the very essence of your being. Intrigued? I thought so. Join me as we delve into the world of Stoic vibrations, exploring the insights of Marcus Aurelius, Seneca and Epictetus, and discover how their teachings can help us lead calmer, more fulfilling lives, even amidst the chaos of the 21st century. Let's rewind a bit, shall we? To a time when the world was a very different place, yet the questions we grapple with today were already being pondered by some of the greatest minds in history. Back to ancient Greece and Rome, where Stoicism first took root. These were civilizations rich in culture, philosophy, and a relentless pursuit of knowledge. Picture bustling marketplaces, grand temples, and of course, those ubiquitous togas. The air was filled with the sounds of merchants haggling, philosophers debating, and citizens going about their daily lives. Amidst this vibrant backdrop, a group of philosophers emerged, seeking answers to life's big questions. They gathered in schools and public spaces, engaging in deep discussions and debates. What is the meaning of life? How should we live? These were not just abstract questions for them, but practical inquiries that demanded real, actionable answers. And perhaps most importantly, how can we find happiness in a world that's constantly throwing us curveballs? They sought to understand the nature of human existence and the path to a fulfilling life. These Stoic thinkers, Zeno of Citium, the founder, along with Epictetus, Seneca and the Emperor Marcus Aurelius himself, believed that true happiness and inner peace came not from external circumstances, but from mastering our own minds. They taught that our perceptions and reactions to events are within our control, even if the events themselves are not. They emphasized virtue, reason, and living in harmony with nature. To them, nature was not just the physical world, but the rational order of the universe, which they believed we should align our lives with. Now, while the term vibration might seem more new age than ancient Greece, the concept itself is deeply embedded in Stoic philosophy. The Stoics understood that the universe is dynamic, constantly changing, and that we are a part of this ever-moving cosmos. They understood that everything is in a constant state of flux, of energy and motion. This includes not just the physical world, but also our inner world, our thoughts, emotions and actions. This includes our thoughts, emotions and actions, our very own personal vibrations, if you will. The Stoics believed that by cultivating a calm and rational mind, we could navigate the turbulence of life with grace and resilience. The Stoics believed that by understanding and mastering these inner vibrations, we could cultivate resilience, wisdom, and a deep sense of inner peace, regardless of life's inevitable ups and downs. They taught that by focusing on what we can control, our own thoughts and actions, we can achieve a state of tranquility and contentment no matter what external challenges we face. Their teachings have endured through the centuries, influencing countless individuals and shaping the course of Western thought. Today, the principles of Stoicism continue to offer valuable insights into how we can live meaningful and fulfilling lives. In our modern world, where stress and uncertainty are ever-present, the wisdom of the Stoics is more relevant than ever. By embracing their teachings, we can learn to navigate the complexities of life with greater ease and find a deeper sense of purpose and peace. So, as we reflect on the history of Stoicism and its profound insights into the nature of existence, let us also consider how we can apply these timeless principles to our own lives. By doing so, we can cultivate a resilient and harmonious spirit capable of withstanding the challenges of our ever-changing world. And in this way, the ancient wisdom of Stoicism continues to resonate, guiding us towards a life of virtue, tranquility and inner strength. First up, 
Let's meet Marcus Aurelius, the OG Stoic superstar. Born in 121 AD, Marcus Aurelius was not just any Roman emperor, he was a philosopher king, a rare breed of ruler who combined immense power with profound wisdom. Imagine being the emperor of Rome, the most powerful man in the world, yet still finding time to pen your philosophical musings in a journal. Amidst the chaos of ruling an empire, he found solace in writing, reflecting on life, duty, and the nature of existence. Well, that was Marcus Aurelius for you, a man who balanced the weight of an empire on his shoulders while nurturing his inner world. His Meditations is basically a stoic self-help guide, written by an emperor, no less. This collection of personal writings offers timeless advice on how to live a virtuous life, remain calm in the face of adversity, and maintain inner peace. Marcus was big on the power of our thoughts. He believed that our internal dialogue shapes our external reality. He believed that our minds are like gardens and our thoughts are the seeds. Just as a gardener tends to their plants, we must cultivate our minds with care and attention. Sow positive, constructive thoughts and you'll reap a bountiful harvest of inner peace. This practice of mindful thinking can lead to a life filled with tranquility and purpose. But let those negative, destructive thoughts take root and you'll find yourself surrounded by weeds of anxiety and despair. It's a reminder that our mental state requires constant vigilance and effort. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts, he wrote. This simple yet profound statement encapsulates the essence of Stoic philosophy. See? Ancient wisdom, but still so relevant today. In our fast-paced modern world, the teachings of Marcus Aurelius offer a beacon of calm and clarity. He understood that our thoughts create ripples, vibrations that extend outwards into our actions and interactions with the world. Every thought we entertain has the potential to influence not just our own lives, but also the lives of those around us. By mastering our mental vibrations, we could influence not only our own well-being, but also the world around us. Marcus Aurelius's teachings remind us that true power lies not in external achievements, but in the mastery of our inner selves. So, let's take a page from his book and strive to cultivate a garden of positive thoughts, creating a ripple effect of peace and harmony in our lives and beyond. Next, let's hop over to Seneca, the philosopher, playwright, politician extraordinaire. Seneca was a master of relationships and a firm believer in the power of surrounding yourself with good vibrations, or, as he might have put it, virtuous companions. He understood that we are social creatures, constantly bombarded by the energies and influences of others. Just as a perfectly tuned instrument can be thrown off key by a discordant note, so too can our own inner harmony be disrupted by negative or toxic vibrations from those around us. Associate with those who will make a better man of you, he advised. Wise words, Seneca. Through his letters to his friend Lucilius, Seneca shared his insights on how to cultivate healthy relationships, set boundaries, and protect ourselves from the draining influence of negativity. He believed that by carefully choosing who we allow into our lives, we can create an environment that nurtures our own inner peace and growth. Last but not least, we have Epictetus. The Stoic, who rose from slavery to become one of the most influential philosophers of his time. Talk about overcoming adversity. Born into slavery in the Roman Empire, Epictetus faced unimaginable hardships from the very beginning. Yet he did not let his circumstances define him. Instead, he used his experiences as a foundation to build a philosophy that would inspire countless individuals throughout history. Epictetus was all about understanding what we can and cannot control. He emphasized the importance of distinguishing between what is within our power and what is not. This fundamental principle is at the heart of Stoic philosophy and serves as a guide for navigating life's challenges. He believed that true freedom lay not in external circumstances, but in mastering our reactions to them. According to Epictetus, our perceptions and judgments about events are what truly shape our experiences. By changing our mindset, we can transform our reality regardless of external conditions. Imagine life as a giant cosmic dance floor. Each of us is a dancer, moving to the rhythm of the universe. 
The music represents the events and circumstances that unfold around us, often beyond our control. We can't control the music that's playing or who else is dancing around us. The tempo may change, the genre may shift, and new dancers may join or leave the floor. These are the external factors that we must accept as part of the dance of life. But we can choose how we move, how we express ourselves within the flow. Our dance is our response to the music, our unique way of navigating the ever-changing landscape of life. By focusing on our movements, we can find joy and freedom, even when the music is not to our liking. Epictetus taught that by focusing on what we can control, our thoughts, emotions and actions, we could find freedom and tranquility even amidst the most challenging situations. This inner focus allows us to remain centered and composed, no matter what external chaos may surround us. There is only one way to happiness, and that is to cease worrying about things which are beyond the power of our will, he declared. This profound insight encourages us to let go of our anxieties about the uncontrollable and to invest our energy in what we can influence. For Epictetus, mastering our vibrations was not about denying or suppressing our emotions, but rather about choosing how we respond to them. He believed that our emotions are natural and inevitable, but our reactions to them are within our control. By cultivating awareness and intentionality, we can navigate our emotional landscape with grace and wisdom. It was about cultivating a sense of detachment from external events, while simultaneously taking full responsibility for our own inner world. This balance of detachment and responsibility is the key to achieving true freedom and inner peace. By embracing this stoic wisdom, we can transform our lives and find serenity amidst the storm.